I'm Dr. Robert Rich, and I'd like to give you some tips that will help you to improve your ability to control your glaucoma. At the present time, there is no cure for glaucoma, and treatment is directed almost exclusively at lowering intraocular pressure. Eye drops used to accomplish this either decrease the amount of fluid entering the eye or increase the rate at which fluid flows out of the eye. Many patients have difficulty putting drops into their eyes. People with limited vision may not be able to see the tip of the bottle. They may get the drops on their eyelids or on their cheek instead of into their eye. Or they may require several attempts to get the drop into their eye, leading to frustration and wastage. In this video, we will describe a new and essentially foolproof method for putting in your eye drops, even if you have severely limited vision. If you do, you may want someone to watch this video with you to help you learn this new technique. We've also included some tips on how to improve the effectiveness of eye drops by getting the drug into your eye where it belongs and not into the rest of your body. Now, a patient with glaucoma is going to show you this new technique. Hello, my name is Naomi and I'm a glaucoma patient. I keep my pressure under control by putting several drops in my eyes twice a day. I've learned some very simple techniques to help the eye drops work better for me. My visits to my ophthalmologist have shown that I am not losing any eyesight, and I'm convinced that this is due to how I adhere to my schedule for inserting drops, as well as the technique I use for inserting the drops. I will describe this technique and then have a fellow glaucoma patient demonstrate the technique for you. Start by holding the bottle with the thumb and index finger of your dominant hand. If you're right-handed, hold the bottle in your right hand. If you're left-handed, hold the bottle in your left hand. The index finger of your other non-dominant hand will act as a guide for the thumb holding the bottle. Place this finger in the center of your lower eyelid to hold it open. Point this finger toward your eye, creating a right angle above the knuckle closest to your fingertip. Slide the bottle on this flat part and stop it at the knuckle. Now let's go through the technique step by step. First, we'll demonstrate it for right-handed people and then repeat it for left-handed people. Sit or lie comfortably. Hold the bottle between the thumb and index finger of your right hand. Take your left index finger and hold down the center of your lower lid. Bend the left index finger so that it makes a right angle at the middle knuckle. Place the first knuckle of your right thumb on your left finger and slide it toward your face until it rests on top of the knuckle closest to your eye. Stop at this point. The bottle tip should be aimed downward. Now let's repeat the technique for left-handed people. Sit or lie comfortably. Hold the bottle between the thumb and index finger of your left hand. Take your right index finger and hold down the center of your lower lid. Bend the right index finger so that it makes a right angle at the middle knuckle. Place the first knuckle of your left thumb on your right finger and slide it toward your face until it rests on top of the knuckle closest to your eye. Stop at this point. Aim the bottle tip downward. The dropper tip will now be directly above your eye and you can squeeze until a drop falls into your eye. I'm Mary Pat and I've had glaucoma for 15 years. These are some important things I've learned that you can do so that your eye drops will work more effectively. First, keep the drops in the refrigerator. That way, the drops will be cold, and you'll be able to tell more easily when the drop gets into your eye. This can save you considerable money as well. Occluding the tear duct in the eyelid so that the eye drop does not drain into your nose is very important. Immediately after instilling a drop, simply use your index finger to put light pressure on the inside corner of your eye with the lids closed for a full minute. You can either look at your watch or count to 60. And now you can put a drop in the other eye and keep that eye closed with light pressure on the inside corner of that eye. Again, for a full minute. Count to 60 or look at your watch to ensure that a full minute has elapsed. 
This increases the amount of drug entering the eye by 50%. It also increases the duration of action of the drug by 50%, and it reduces absorption into the body, thereby reducing side effects. Many patients have been able to improve their pressure control by using this technique. Do not use your thumb and index finger to press on the bones of your nose. This will not occlude both eyes effectively. You need to use both index fingers to press on the inside corner of your eyes. If you take multiple drops, wait 10 minutes between different drops so as not to wash out one by putting another one in too soon. Try to put your drops in at regular intervals, like 12 hours apart for a drop that's used twice a day. Establish a system for knowing when you've put in a drop. For example, I move all my bottles close to me before I put them into my eyes, and then as I finish each bottle, I put it away from me. Making the drop installation a part of your daily routine will ensure that you don't forget them. Remember that glaucoma is a lifelong disease. You must visit your doctor as necessary to ensure that the eye drops are working, to lower your pressure, and that you are not losing any vision. Thank you.